Hello everyone, Miss Curdy here. Today we are preparing to start topic four, which is some more multiplication and division. But before we get started, let's review a couple of concepts that you learned a few years ago. Um, first off, let's talk about addition and subtraction for a moment. We know that addition and subtraction are opposite operations, and we can call those inverse operations. Think of it as like the reverse of each other. So here's an example. 3 plus 4 we know equals 7, and we can do the opposite using subtraction, where we have our total of 7, we take away 4, and that equals 3. 3, 4, and 7 form what we call a fact family, and we can make four equations using those three numbers. We already have two of them up here. 3 plus 4 equals 7, and 7 minus 4 equals 3. There are two more equations that we can make by switching our add-ins over here. We can do 4 plus 3 equals 7, and we can do 7 minus 3 equals 4. And together, these four equations form a fact family. One thing we want to make sure that we're careful of is that when we're doing our subtraction, we want to make sure our total is always our first number. So something like 4 take away 7 equals 3 is something that is not true. It doesn't work out that way. The same thing would be 3 minus 7 equals 4. That also does not work. It's not correct. Um, whenever we're doing our subtraction, we know that our previous sum becomes our total over here that we're going to subtract. Most of the time, you will have four equations in a fact family. There are times where you will only have two equations. Let's take a look at something that would happen with that. For example, 3 plus 3 equals 6. If I were going to switch those two add-ins around, it would be the same thing. And then subtracting 6 minus 3 equals 3. Again, if I switch those two numbers around, I'd still have the same exact equation. So in that case, we only have two equations in our fact family, just a smaller family. Um, there are special cases when we start talking about division where we'd only have three equations, and again, that would be a smaller fact family. But almost always, you're going to have four equations in your fact family. Let's review a little bit more. Let's talk about some vocabulary. So down here, we have our multiplication, and we are very familiar with our vocabulary terms here. We know that three and four are factors, and we know that 12 over here is called our product. The numbers we're multiplying by are factors, and our answer is called the product. We actually have some new vocabulary down here when we start talking about division. And these words are definitely a, a bit trickier to remember, um, but luckily we have our review cards, our word cards from our notebook, and we can always look in the glossary if we need to again for more examples. Um, the number that we start with over here that used to be our product, when it's in a division equation, it is called the div dividend. dividend. Um, it is our total that we're starting with in a division problem. So in a multiplication problem, that's called the product. In division, it now becomes the dividend. And then over here, the number we're dividing by is our divisor. And then our answer is no longer called the product up here. It is now called the quotient. And again, these are more complicated math terms. Luckily, we have our word cards and we have our glossary. Whenever we need to look up what they are, um, we can do that easily enough. All right, so that was our first review page. Let's take a look and review some more. You'll need your second sheet right here. If you don't have it, you can pause the video, grab it, and then come back. In topics two and three, we learned a ton of strategies for solving multiplication equations for each factor. And if you forget any of those any of those strategies, you can just look back through your note sheets in your notebook, um, or even look it up in your workbook. In your notebook, you have this sheet from topic two and three, where we talk about all of our different multiplication strategies. Anytime you need to refresh your memory on these, you can just open up that notebook and take a look. So ultimately, we want to have all of our facts memorized, so we don't need to use those strategies often. Those strategies should just be a backup plan if we forget. So let's take a look. Um, when we're in a pickle, we can always use some skip count. So take a look. 6 times 4, I know I can solve this one. 
um, using my fours tricks or my six tricks. In this case, I'm going to use my four trick, and I know it would be double double. Six doubled is 12, 12 doubled is 24. If I forget that strategy, I can always go back to some skip counting and some repeated addition where I can skip count by six four times. Six, 12, 18, 24. Over here, I've got a seven and an eight. I could use my eight strategy, which would be double, 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 or I can use my seven strategy, which is think of the seven as a five and a two. That's the strategy I'm gonna go with. So five times eight and two times eight. I know five times eight equals 40 and two times eight equals 16. And when I add those two together, I'm gonna to get a total of 56. Again, I could skip count by sevens, seven, 14, 21, etc., eight times until I got to 56. Three times nine, I'm gonna use my three trick where I can think of it as doubling plus one. I know that nine doubled is 18 and I'm gonna add one more nine and that is gonna give me 27. And here, nine times four, I've already used the four, fat, four tricks. So this time I wanna use the nines trick. I'm gonna think of the nine as a 10 and do 10 times four equals 40 and then subtract four. And that will give me 36. So these are all strategies we should be comfortable with. Um, and again, a great fallback plan would be skip counting. Let's try this one with some skip counting. Here I have nine times four. I'm gonna skip count by nine four times. 9, 18, here I may need to count on my fingers if, I, if I'm not sure what 18 plus 9 is. That would give me 27, and then another 9 will land me at 36 for my answer. All right, so take a moment to look over our two review sheets. This information is going to be built upon in topic 4, so we want to be familiar with our fact families, our vocabulary, and our multiplication strategies. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.